Hello, so topic 24, good news. So we're going to watch some videos and think of what's your best good news. Okay, so it's good to hear good news. So here we have some good news. So we have four stories, positive headlines. They're the headlines are the main titles of a news article. Hurdling success. Hurdling is in sports. And um, could be this guy here won um, a race where he had to jump over the hurdles. And saving hand, maybe this guy saved this dog who was drowning in a lake uh, iced over. And reviving land, so this is good news, number four. I can put the numbers down there, it's quite easy. Reviving means renewing, it's um, land which was maybe a desert before, now it looks good, uh, crops, things growing, surprising triplets, so triplets are twins plus one, so three, a trio triplets, surprising was a surprise, okay, make up a story for each, okay, so we can think of a story, make up the mislet, you can invent your own story, okay, make a positive headline and draw a picture, so think of something positive, and then draw a picture. That should be a fun exercise. Okay, good news. So here we have a glass. What do you see? A glass. Do you see it's half empty or half full? What's the difference? Well, there's no difference, but it's how you see it. When you see something half empty, we are thinking, are we thinking positively or negatively? Well, I think, oh, it's missing. I have half empty thinking negatively. All right, so uh, the fire of London in 1666, we can think, what well, is that good news? Was it good or bad news? Well, we think it's bad news, but before the fire in 1665, all the houses were wooden. There was a huge rat problem, the Black Plague, thousands and thousands of people died. And after the fire, they built new houses, brick houses. There was a very, very, very small rat problem because the rats died in the fire. And the black plague stopped. Okay, so no more black plague. So the fire of London was maybe good news. So here we have the brick houses. St. Paul's Cathedral was built after the fire. So what different ways do people get the news? Do you, th do you remember? Well, television, radio, newspaper, magazines, word of mouth. Word of mouth is one person to the next person to the next person. Word of mouth. Internet. Okay. Other. Maybe radio. Well, we said radio. I don't know. Smoke signals from the Indians. So, what ways do people get news? And how effective is getting the news these ways? So... Television is quite effective, but usually you wait for the news on, on the TV, for evening news. Newspapers is usually a bit later, a day late. Magazines also later news. Word of mouth, if you trust your friends, it's quite effective. You can ask for explanations. Internet is probably the fastest. You get the actual news. So, good news. Do people tend to see things more positively or negatively? Why? Well, why? We, I think we see things more negatively because it's just more about our survival. What good news have you heard in the media recently? In the media, well, maybe about a baby gorilla born or, I don't know, a dog being saved. So what good news can you think of from your personal life? Okay, maybe you celebrated your birthday or you were successful in something. So you can ask each other and let's get some good news. So which is correct? Let's correct it. What's in or on the news? Well, both. We can say in the newspapers uh, or on the TV news. So news is or news are? 
or news is not plural so we say is the news is bad or news is good two news or two news is none two pieces of news okay a TV series some TV series a nějaký slovič vypadá jak, že jsou množní číslo a nejsou. So we say a TV series. OK, so we're going to play Find the Truth. And uh, that's it. So goodbye for now.